Well, step aside Mayor Woodfin, at least for one day. Tonight, a young man with a rare brain cancer is wrapping up his 24-hour tenure as Birmingham's mayor. CBS 42's Corey McGinnis live in the newsroom tonight with the emotional story of how the city is supporting him in his fight. Corey. Yeah, Jack, good evening. Well, Kylan White, known as Kai, could barely peer over Mayor Randall Woodfin's top desk at City Hall. As tonight, he was honored to be mayor for a day. Anything else to say, Mr. Mayor? Anything else we need to do for you today, sir? It's not every day you see Birmingham Mayor Randall Woodfin asking that question. On Friday, a second mayor sat by Woodfin's side. Whereas the city of Birmingham is proud to honor Kylan White as he becomes mayor for a day. Six-year-old Kylan White, known as Kai, was declared mayor for a day. The kindergartner has DIPG, which is a rare form of brain cancer in children. Mark White, seen here in the blue shirt, learned about Kai's condition after simply ordering a pizza last month at Your Pie in Uptown. I have two boys. They've been five years old before. That's when Marche Davis, manager at Your Pie, told White about Kai's plight. White reached out to Mayor Woodfin to see if he would declare him mayor for a day. Woodfin agreed. During his visit to City Hall, Mayor Woodfin escorted him to his chair in council chambers and presented him with one of his favorite characters, a Black Panther doll. <laughs> Kai ended his busy day at Your Pie with some of his family and friends enjoying some pizza. His mother thankful. He loves attention. Like I said, he loves to be on TV. He loves to talk, play, dance. So yes, he is. He's very excited. All of this while Kai made all the important decisions for the day. He's doing work. I'm supposed to do that. Now, the family says that they're remaining prayerful, and they really wanted to thank the city, Mark White, Children's of Alabama, and everyone else who had a part in Kai being mayor for the day. We're live in the newsroom tonight. Corey McGinnis, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on. Corey, thank you.